Hi everyone, it's Rick here from the Game Creators again, and today I'm going to show you the new scene editor built directly inside App Game Kit Studio. If you've pre ordered App Game Kit Studio, you can download this new version directly from the service today. So let's check it out. I've got my Tetris fan game called Ritris loaded up. I'm going to right click on the name of the project here and add a new scene to the project. I'm going to give the name of the scene the title scene. So create that and here we are inside the scene editor. This is the visible area. The, we have a grid turned on. And turn it off there and we can also turn off the border like so. And the resolution we're in is 1024 by 768. We've got a drop down that lets you set any resolution you want. Uh, landscape or portrait or any resolution you choose. You can set the base resolution you want to work in and from that you can then test out how your project will work on different devices within App Game Kit Studio. Okay let's drag in some media. Let's take this backdrop and we just click it to select it. You can see it's moving freely. We can position it manually or we can turn the grid on and easily place it into position like so. Then we've got the properties for this object here. It's XY position, it's size, it's scale, it's rotation and so on. I'm going to lock the background so now I can't select it. I have to right click to unlock it but I want it to stay where it is. Then I'm going to add title page. I can scale, I can rotate like so. I can do that here as well. So let's put the title up there. Then I've got some instructions. Drag those in. And you can see it's very easy to position things, scale them as you want, get an idea, rather than using just commands to guess all this. And we've got some instructions to start the game. Again we can stretch you don't have to always scale in proportion, like so. Now a cool feature is to do with the grid. Let's drag some of these sprites in that are, that are the objects of the game. Just put them off sides of the screen here, like so. And our scene manager here shows us all the sprites we've dragged into the scene. Now if I click on one of those, I go into draw mode, and you can see these properties here have, have changed. Uh, the draw mode is going to snap to the grid, it's going to use a grid of 32 by 32. I can change that, let's make it 48 by 48. Okay, I can also change an offset. And when I draw, I'm going to fit the sprite within the grid size. So let's take this pink guy here, let's say he's like a blob in the game. And this is the four one and this could be like that shape, do a few of those, um, orange, that could be this shape, so I'm just adding a bit of flair to my title page, like so, I can quickly just draw as much as I want, I can right click to get rid of them, like so, so it's a really simple way of drawing out your sprites as you see fit. Now my click to play is behind these things so I don't want that. Uh, I need to come out of draw mode so I can exit draw mode. I can click on the draw to play. I can right click and move it forward or send to front and now it's in front of those sprites there. Here's a few more features of the scene editor. If you want to change the grid colour you can do that here find a colour that works for your particular set of graphics. So that's easy to do. You've also got uh, multiple selections so if we select all these tiles here we can move them. Having selected them you can then delete them all. And because we've got multiple undo and redo you can get it all back like so. You can take a sprite and you can assign it to a variable 
or to an array group if you've got lots of sprites of the same type. So you can make that link between the scene editor and your source code. You can even have scenes inside of scenes, so you can add a new scene within the scene file. So you can keep everything organized. Okay, so this is the version you're getting today. We'd love to hear your feedback. We're not finished yet on the scene editor, so please let us know what you think. We are looking at also adding layers into the scene editor, so you could work on background items, then middle ground and foreground items separately, so you're not having this conflict all the time between forward and back. Remember that the 50% discount ends at the end of March, so if you want to get the best deal on Outgame Kit Studio, March is the time to buy. Thank you for watching and look out for more videos soon.